Hello, it's Joel I'm back. Um, I want to go over some uh, Hot Wheels Garage, Boulevard, and Delivery um, collection that I have. Again, uh, this isn't something that I collect every single thing. This is only um, uh, stuff that I collect because I like it. Uh, if I like it, I pick it up. Um, a lot of this stuff, if not most of it, I picked up uh, through eBay. Uh, I know I picked up a couple things um, from people at the club. and uh, But by and large, probably most of it's from eBay. I don't think I got any of this in the stores. Um, but, you know, after I saw it on eBay or, you know, at the club and, you know, I discovered I liked it. So, um Without waiting, uh, let's get to it. Uh, again, this is not in any particular order, but we're going to do the delivery series first. Uh, 27 out of 34 pieces, Milodon, uh, with the 56 Chevy Nomad delivery. Uh, again, I am a big lover of the Nomad, the original Nomad. Uh, big lover of the Chevy. And I love these vehicles in real life, too. Um, wish I had one. Had a neighbor at one time who had a uh, Chevy delivery vehicle. Um, years ago, back in the, uh, boy, probably around 1979, 1980. Okay, uh, when I was in 8th grade. Uh, so, I want to read the back. Yeah, it's a 2009 copyright, so it probably came out in 2010. Here's a uh, good year. Uh, this is number three of 34. Good year colors. It's the 55 Chevy panel. Has an opening hood. Looks like there's still a motorcycle back in there. Metal body, metal base. So wherever this vehicle is, I guess it was originally sold for three fifty, and it was originally five ninety five. This comparison. So here's the back. Here's a variation from the Goodyear. It's kind of neat because I didn't know if these had variations, but apparently they did. And this is 3 of 34, the 55 Chevy panel, Goodyear. Painted the headlights, it's kind of cool. Uh, didn't do the taillights. Let's see if I painted the headlights on this one. Yep. Did not do the taillights, but they did put a tampo on the back. Okay. like the same wheels they just did a reverse basically of the uh, of the tampo is what they did so up here they got silver here they got silver on the bottom they have blue on the bottom here blue on the top here so it just looks like a reverse paint scheme but I do not know if they did this on every single one or how many variations there might have been so that is the 55 Chevy panel. And here we have the 56 Flash Shider, which is based off a 56 Chevrolet pickup truck. Uh, no tampo up front. Center line. I believe they make wheels on the rear uh, tailgate area, center line. It's a two-tone vehicle, it's hard to tell, but it's a black roof. It's either two-tone black or it's two-tone, you know, dark cherry. I can't tell in this type of light. Uh, again, I'm not, I don't have a professional studio. I'm using a cell phone and, um, you know, I use what I have for the time being. Okay, so there we have that one. All right, that's it for the delivery series that I that I collected. 
again, and again, I can't stress, I don't collect everything in certain series. I'll just collect what I like. Here we have the Garage series. Here's the 57 Chevy Bel Air. Metal on metal, wheel rider tires. Tells you right here, metal on metal, wheel riders. I like this color. This is really nice. I think this has an opening hood. Maybe? Yep. It does. You can kind of see the hood coming up. You can see the thing. So it has an opening hood. Cool. All right. And it looks like it has the gray steelies. That's what they look like is gray steelies. Or meant to represent. But they're really the deep dish that are chrome on other vehicles. Like, I think this is the same wheel. And it's just chromed. Well, as on the 57 Chevy, it's gray. Like a you know, regular basic wheel. Alright. Here we have, add to my... Chevy Malibu collection or Chevelle collection is 65 Chevy Malibu two-tone silver and I guess that's an orange uh, no tampo on the rear no tampo up front okay 65 Malibu trademark I do not see date stamped for when the casting was um, copyrighted. All right. It's kind of hanging low in the rear, so maybe a low rider type deal. Here's the back. I don't know if I showed the back of the 57 Chevy. Let me go back to that one first. Here's the back of the 57 Chevy. There's no numbers on this, like, you know, telling me how many of you are all as near as I could tell. So I don't know if these are all of them or not. And this one's 2010. This one's 2010. Probably came out in 2011. Here we have another neat casting that I do like. Uh, 70 Chevy Monte Carlo. I really do like this one. My father was a big fan of the 70 Monte, 71 Monte Carlos. Uh, these are on a Chevelle uh, frame. They just extended the front end. Uh, many parts inside um, are Chevelle. Malibu, the deck lid of Chevelle Malibu, uh, on the real car, they just had a trim piece that went across, um, but other than that, the deck lid fits on the back of the, um, uh, probably a 68 and 69, but a 70 and 71 and 72 Chevelle, that deck lid will fit, um, the dash in these cars will actually fit in a Chevelle, uh, the dash uh, design, the dash pad, is the same. Um, the layout of the instrument cluster and the actual look of the dash is going to be different because it's going to have like a simulated wood look because these are uh, higher end cars than the Nelvo. Okay, and here we have another 55 Chevy panel. And this one... Looks like it does have the uh, motorcycle in there, I think. Of course, this does open, all right? And it has the moon disc wheels, and it's just a basic two-tone with a, looks like a slight scallop design here on the side. Looks like a gold and a, and a black. Okay, and some pinstriping down here, kind of cool. Painted headlights in the front. Uh, nothing in the back. Here's the Boulevard series. Metal on metal, wheel rider tires. Doesn't tell you how many there are, but here's the back. And multiple languages, and this came out in 
2012 copyright, so probably 2013. Right, so this is a, you guessed it, it's a 66 Chevelle. Right, with the moon disc wheels. Moon disc wheels look good on some vehicles. Um, you would see them a lot on the salt flat racers. So this car looks like it's set up to be a salt flat racer because it's low to the ground and the moon disc wheels and it just kind of looks like a salt flat racer. So that's what I'm gonna pretend it's going to be, a salt flat racer Chevelle, okay? I can do that. I'm allowed to, uh, to daydream. <clears throat> it's my vehicle, it's my cars. Uh, here is, and it looks like, you know what? on me. There's nothing down here on the bottom. And all the fronts are the same, Hot Wheel Boulevard. But we go to this next one here, and it's the VW Volkswagen Bug Beetle. But it says Big Hits down here. And on some other ones, they also have some different writing. So maybe there were certain sub-segments, but I can't tell what sub-segment this might have belonged to. So, maybe somebody out there can tell me. So we have the Volkswagen Beetle, again with the moon discs, but everybody loves Beetles. Two-tone, white, and it looks like green. Metal base, metal body, real rider tires, and these have treads, and great big treads in the back, because it almost looks like a dune buggy. Okay. And here's the back of this one. And there's a different set of cars in the back of this one. Uh, I don't know how many cars were in this series. I really, really don't know. All right. I don't know if they had different um, um, variations in color and so forth. Uh, here's one, Big Hits. Same thing as the VW. This one is the 57 Chevy Bel Air. Again, um, in real life, I really, really love these cars. I really do. They are fantastic. I wish I could afford every single car um, that I have in diecast if I could have the real car in every single color. God, I would need more space than Jay Leno and all these other big name car collectors combined. I would need more space than, uh, than well, salt right here, than uh, what they use um, for space at the uh, car auctions, the big name car auctions. Here's another Vary 8, and listed as Underdogs, I guess, is the sub series. They do not do enough AMC's. Um, AMC was not a big name player um, in the American auto industry. They were fourth. Um, they had GM, Ford, and then you had Chrysler Group. I don't know about in what order for sales, but I could tell you AMC would have been fourth. Okay. Uh, so this is also listed in the subsegment as underdogs as the Pacer. Uh, I believe this is the Pack and Pacer. Um, this is a casting that's been around since the 70s. I believe I have an original one that came out um, with the moon disc wheels. Uh, I don't know what the 77 stands for unless it's based off a of 77 Pacer. Uh, initially, uh, I saw another YouTube video. The Pacer was initially supposed to have a rotary engine that was being developed by General Motors, and they were going to buy that rotary engine to fit in there. But at the last minute, General Motors quit their rotary program, and apparently it wasn't meeting emission standards because they were tightening at the time, and they just killed it. But uh, AMC had the bodies built, and they had to shoehorn in a uh, straight six. 
So maybe that's why the engine in this vehicle is in the trunk because they can't get it under the hood. So just a little interesting thing there. Uh, also listed as an underdog is the custom V8 Vega. Um, I kind of like Vegas. Um, I like the front end on um, the earlier Vegas uh, when they come to a point like this because um, as it progressed to the 70s, they kind of got a cow catcher look type grill where it's sloped up and down. All right, so I don't know what year Vega this is. Any Vega fans could probably, you know, tell me. Um, here's the base, custom V8 Vega. Uh, copyright date was 2008, so it was probably 2009. New model. Here we have a good one. And this is in the Legends series. Did I have any other Legends? They were either big hits or underdogs. Okay. Again, I'm guessing that the Legends is a sub-series. Uh, 41 Willys. 41. So maybe that's what the numbers stand for. On these cars, because this is a 66 Chevelle with a 66. Uh, there's no number on the Beetle. There's no numbers on the 57 Chevy. Uh, there's a number on the Very 8, but that could be a 68 because they did make these. Uh, throughout the 1960s, so it could be a 68 model. So the 77 on the pack and pacer might be for 77, 1977, but no number on the uh, on the custom Vega. All right, so here we have the 41 Willys. I like the Willys too. I really do. Especially if you put a big blown Hemi in it. Looks, looks like it's got uh, slicks for real riders. And here's the back. And the last car in the Legend series, the AMC Rebel Machine. And I think this is the full livery on the AMC Rebel Machine. Really a cool car. I do like this one too. I really do. I know for a fact I got this from someone at the, uh, the club. Um, I think I got it for $5 and he was asking 10 So, all right, that's it. Uh, please let me know what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like. Thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, if you have not subscribed, please check up in the top left at the end of the video. You can subscribe, and you all have a good day. Thank you.